Hi, I'm Emerald. I'm a self-taught graphic designer and today I'm going to be making some Instagram posts. So I'm not affiliated with the brand that I'm going to be creating posts for. I'm going to be taking assets just straight from their website. Usually when you work with a client, they will give you the posts and the colors and the photography. I don't have that. I'm just kind of going to stalk them and then make my own versions of it. I've been thinking about what brand I want to do and I'm really, really feeling Taika. This is one of my favorite brands in the world. I, this coffee is like Adderall, like I eat this stuff up. And when I got my last shipment, I was like, okay, I should probably do it right now so I could take some product photography as well. Hopefully you guys find something from this video. Hopefully you like it and yeah, let's get right into it. All right, so now I'm just gonna be setting things up in Figma. So the first thing that I usually do is grab what their Instagram feed already looks like and I crop it like this. And then in this middle spot is where I'm gonna be designing. I'm also gonna go through the website right now and pull all of the assets immediately that I think are good. I'm gonna be taking screenshots of the colors so I get the brand colors. And also I'm gonna be gathering things like logos and I'm gonna use the plugin called um, Font Ninja to also try and get their fonts properly. So I'm gonna get all those things and then come right back to you guys. All right guys, hello, I'm back and I've stolen things. So over here, I have all of the assets that I've yanked. Some of these screenshots I did just to steal their colors. Um, I couldn't find their font for free. So I am just using this guy. So yeah, I should have everything to begin making posts. So let's get started with that. friends i'm back i have seven out of nine of the posts the only one that you didn't see me make was this product photography and it was literally just me going outside putting them in a chair and then taking a photo of them so i have some ideas for the last two posts for one of them i really want to make an announcement kind of like this black friday one because holiday posts are harder than they look and i think it's really cool seeing how somebody approaches the balance that you need to make a post both branded but also christmasy and yeah i'm gonna get started and i'll see you when I'm done.
guys so i am back and i am done i have finished all my posts and my last step is always throwing them into a mock-up figma has their community page and i always search ui kit for whatever social media i am making posts for and i plug them into there i design like zoomed out the grid first so it's super important seeing how these are actually gonna feel on a phone when you look at it on your phone you should be testing legibility fonts and how it interacts with the general ui of what you're going to be posting to i'm also going to be posting this file in the community for you to just check it out and see maybe you're a visual learner that way and you want to dissect what i did and look at all my files i don't name things so i apologize it's going to be a mess but you can stalk it and look at how i did it and this video is not sponsored by taika but I love you guys, you are the best. And let me know if there's brands that you guys have that you just love or want me to see do videos. Um, I feel like I'm gonna pick a bunch of brands I just love the branding for and just go ham with it. I was thinking um, Chamberlain Coffee because they have just the cutest little characters and colors. But if you have any suggestions, I would love to know. And yeah, if you're interested in me doing a longer video where I go more in depth on how I design, I would love to do that or if there's something in figma that you want to see i would love to do that too because i just love talking about figma and teaching people and showing hopefully new techniques or maybe old techniques or you know what i just like playing around in figma but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i hope to see you again bye, -bye.